Okay, uh, we're going to look at water as quite a finite resource. So there's a few statistics in here that we probably uh, need to take into consideration uh, when we're looking at this. If you take all of the water on Earth, so that's absolutely every uh, square inch of water on Earth, 97.5% is in the oceans. So whilst I appreciate desalinization can allow that water to be usable, Generally speaking, it's only really the fresh water that we realistically can start to use. So that represents 2.5%. However, when we look at the uh, amount of fresh water that we have, if we take that 2.5%, um, then 79% of that 2.5% is in ice caps and glaciers, therefore rendering it very difficult to use. 20% is in groundwater, again, a little bit more difficult to use, uh, and this area here, easily accessible surface fresh water, so 1% of the water, uh, of the fresh water on Earth, is easily accessible on the surface and fresh water. Half of that, over half of that, comes in uh, the form of lakes, which is obviously lakes and rivers uh, are the, the two sections of water that we really can use on a regular basis. So actually, that only makes up 53% of 1% of two and a half percent. Now that's exceptionally confusing. So as you can imagine, water is an exceptionally finite resource. The amount that is actually available to us is minute, it's minuscule, the amount that's actually available to us. So it is a finite resource uh, and consequently it needs to be looked after and we do tend to pollute a lot of our water uh, as well. So we're just reducing the amount of water that's available to us anyway. So just as a very quick demonstration, uh, if this glass represented all the water on Earth, then we're talking about that as the amount of fresh water that we have. We're talking about this amount here as the accessible fresh water. And then we're talking about this amount here as the usable fresh water. So consequently, we don't really have very much.